signs of support for a controversial mosque to be built in New York City. The proposed site of the center is a few blocks from Ground Zero. Messages backing the move were written in chalk on the sidewalk and walls. A new, a new uh, poll also shows that most New Yorkers, 63 percent, are against the project. But a majority, 64 percent, are also believing that the developer has a constitutional right to build it. Now, as that debate continues over the New York City mosque, followers of the faith are res recognizing Islamic Awareness Month. Well, there's about 15,000 Muslims in Kansas City and surrounding areas. Naja Sherman talked to local Muslim leaders who say they hope to spread the message of tolerance and peace. Naja? Mark and Elizabeth, this is the holy month of Ramadan for Muslims. It's a month filled with fasting, prayer, and doing good deeds. You're taking a live look at prayer services happening right now in Olathe. They start at about 9.30 p.m., and members will pray until about 11 o'clock tonight. Earlier today, I spoke with a member of the Islamic Center Circle of North America who says they launched a public awareness campaign this month to dispel misconceptions about their faith. They say they hope to tear down barriers and unite the community. Obviously, we are living in a larger community where we have Muslims, we have Hindus, we have Christians, we have Jews. We all have to live peacefully together. So we need to, in order to live peacefully together, we need to understand each other. During the holy month of Ramadan, Muslims refrain from eating or drinking starting from dawn till dusk. The holiday is observed by more than one billion Muslims around the world. Live in the newsroom, Naja Sherman, NBC Action News.